Let's send it over now to Katie for a check of our Denver 7 forecast. Fire danger a concern today, Katie. Absolutely, Molly. Good morning, everyone. Wednesday at 517. This weather warning not in effect yet, but starting at 9 o'clock, you'll feel it. Gusty winds out there up and down I-25 across the eastern plains. We're under a fire weather warning until at least 6 o'clock. Wind gusts could reach up to about 40 miles per hour at times, and also a high wind warning in effect for our adjacent foothills up through Rocky Mountain National Park and Estes Park. It'll be even windier. So temperatures outside, we're starting Starting off extremely mild. This is ahead of our next cold front, so this time tomorrow we'll be in the 30s, but right now 50 Centennial, low 60s, Aurora Parker and Castle Rock, and you can see the winds up and down the I-25 corridor right now around 5 to 10 miles per hour. Really, really gusty conditions up into the high country uh, up through Estes Park last recorded there at around 42 miles per hour. Wind sustained from the west will be our biggest issue across the state all day long. So outside right now, we're in the 60s from the springs, 50s up through Sterling out into Burlington. Some 40s filtering into our mountain towns early this morning and later on we're expecting highs to top out in the upper 70s to near 80. We're not talking record heat, but about five degrees shy of the record expected this afternoon. 80 out at the airport, upper 50s to low 60s from Grand Lake up through Estes Park and taking us through our hourly planner. What you can expect if you're heading out the door soon by 8 o'clock will still be nice and cool and mild in the upper 50s. 70 by 10 and then it'll be warm this afternoon, 80 through 2 o'clock and you can see through our future cast. Here's what it looks like as we go through the day. By 1 o'clock, it'll be dry, it'll be breezy, temperatures 50s and 60s out to our west, but here comes a little bit of moisture. Good news up there near uh, Fort Collins, could see a couple of showers, but mainly it's going to be west by 7 o'clock tonight near Winter Park, Allens Park, and into portions of Boulder County. Snow possible over about 10,000 feet, not looking much in the way of snowfall forecasting for just about a tenth of an inch possible, but a rain snow mix will be uh, likely over lower elevations and rain into spots like Boulder. Just about a slight chance for seeing a couple of showers late tonight. It'll mainly just be mostly clear to partly cloudy skies, very gusty winds, and it's going to be a lot colder to start early tomorrow. So you can see low 30s, freezing conditions. Parker Elizabeth up through Winter Park and down through Deckers, upper 20s to low 30s expected. And our daytime highs are going to really take a hit with this next front moving in. It's going to be breezy in the morning, 58 degrees in the afternoon, and then that will clear out and we're tracking a second cold front on Sunday. So we get a little bit of break of the end of the week into the weekend. Friday, sunshine, pleasant, upper 60s, low 70s to start the weekend on Saturday. Showers finally likely in Denver come Sunday afternoon. It's going to be chilly to start the week with more seasonal conditions by early next week as well.